Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're looking at the HD0 Expansion Bay Module V2 with Wi-Fi. As always, I'm Jeff with Tight FPV and RC. First order of business guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell. You'll be notified when I upload all new content to the channel. This is a product I've been waiting for for a while, so I'm excited to see what we got. As you see, this is the V2 version by the part number there checked on the back. They do sell the original version that doesn't have the Wi-Fi module built in, which is what I have. I'm a beta tester. I initially ordered the expansion board that you can upgrade for $20, but there was some shipping mishaps that were taken care of. So I ended up just picking a module locally and I was refunded for that module. All right, let's get it out of the box. It looks almost identical. You can see the AC0 logo is larger on the PCB on this one. And there is an internal Wi-Fi antenna there on built into this board. Now I believe others that have purchased the add-on board, uh, you're gonna have an option. I think it's a UFL connector that you can add an external antenna if you want better range. So the range on this isn't really far guys, but uh, it fits into the module bay port there the same. There is a hole for a grub screw that is included and you're gonna get that satisfying click when it's attached. Now you can use it without uh, an analog module if you just wanna use the Wi-Fi functionality. I think a lot of people have been doing that. Uh, if you're just flying HD zero and you just wanna broadcast that over Wi-Fi, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, post a link to the uh, smaller module bay cover that you can print. It's a little bit uh, lower profile if you just want to use that for the expansion bay. Okay. But I noticed a lot of people on the HD zero Facebook group have been having issues getting this set up. So I felt like it was something I needed to bring to the community. Easy process. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just download uh, the VLC app um, on iOS or Android. And then you can go ahead and add the server and then you can connect to your Wi-Fi on the actual board and stream to a smartphone or a Mac or PC. And obviously the main reason why most people will be purchasing the module bay add-on is to add an analog module. Today we're going to just be focusing on the Wi-Fi functionality. We've got the module physically connected. We want to dive into the goggles menu. We're going to scroll down and click on Wi-Fi module. Under enable, we're going to turn that from off to on. As you see, the network name is HD0. The password is DiviMath, all lowercase. We're going to apply those settings. And that's going to enable the Wi-Fi module functionality. So it's going to broadcast the screen of whatever is showing on the goggles, whether it's the menu or the actual video feed, be it HD0 or analog or HDMI in. Set up today in the video, I'm gonna use an iPhone. We're gonna open up the app store, search for the VLC app. We're gonna get that app and install it. Next, we need to open up the settings app, click on Wi-Fi, select the HD0 network. The password is lowercase DiviMath. We're gonna join that network. It's gonna give you a notification that's weak security, but that's fine. Then we're gonna go back and open up the VLC app. We're gonna select open network stream. And this is where we're gonna type in the server. You can find your unique IP address in your HD zero goggles Wi-Fi menu. We're just gonna type that in exactly as it reads in the goggle menu. And then we're gonna hit open network stream. And hopefully everything is gonna connect correctly and this is what I'm viewing on my smartphone. So this is a screen recording on my smartphone. As you see, it does record the menu. 
I'm going to hop over to the HD zero VRX. And as you see, we are now streaming from my quad to uh, the smartphone app. Now there is a lot of input lag. I would not recommend in its current state to try to fly through this, but it is good for ride alongs. Hopefully this video was informative guys. I do have a lot more awesome content coming to the channel. I did pick up an avatar HD VRX that I'll be reviewing shortly, as well as I have my Speedy B Master HD frame build that's coming to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one.